Welcome to ISTV e News. This is Panorama giving you the news. Let's see the top stories. 21 MLAs meet Chief Minister to insist on reshuffle of ministers. Chief Minister assures of appraising high command of MLAs demand. And Chief Minister Oyobi calls on people to eschew selfish thoughts for peaceful coexistence. The news in detail. In all, 21 MLAs of Congress today met Chief Minister Oyobi and insisted that the Council of Ministers should be reshuffled. The Chief Minister reportedly assured the MLAs that he would go to Delhi and apprise the leaders of All India Congress Committee (AICC) of the MLAs' demand. Our video journalists and Ranjan and sub editor and Phillips, who have been closely following the political developments in the Congress Legislative Party of late, reported that 21 Congress MLAs, most of them without the usual security escorts, drop inside the campus of the CM's bungalow before 8:15 a.m. The MLAs reportedly demanded removing 10 ministers and appoint 10 MLAs as ministers who would be able to work efficiently. The MLAs met the demand with the intention of strengthening the Congress Party and in interest of the people. The report says the MLAs complained to the Chief Minister about the mistakes of the ministers, their lack of interest in listening to the MLAs' requests or grievances, besides their undue interference in the constituencies of the Congress MLAs. The MLAs emerged out of the gate of CM's bungalow around 9:30 a.m. MLA of Kutchin Assembly Constituency Y Surchandra, who took part in a meeting with the Chief Minister, told ISTV News that after listening to the demand of the MLAs on effecting a major reshuffle, the Chief Minister told the MLAs that he understands the sentiment of the MLAs. He assured the MLAs that he shall apprise the AICC leaders of the MLAs' demand. MLA Surchandra said. Chief Minister Oy Bobi and Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kangam will be leaving for Delhi for a different purpose. During the stay in Delhi, they will meet the party high command. On their return, they will meet the MLAs again and talk about the issue. It is expected that something concrete will be known before the assembly session commences on July 11. MLA Surchandra said. Need for the major reshuffle, and Honourable Sam has noticed the sentiments of the. the mls and also the our pleading i mean it is not in the our personal interest it is in the overall interest that he has i think the pr says understood and he has since he has already a program uh, fixed for delhi he and the uh, honorable sam and deputy sam who is also in uh, the party present so they will be proceeding to delhi for that already fixed program but in the meantime they will try to get a chance and uh, he has uh, And he assured that he will, the he and the party person will apprise the high command. On the other hand, inside sources told the ISTV News that a draft copy of the demand for a major reshuffle, elaborating the reasons why a change is needed in the Council of Ministers, signed by 21 MLAs, is ready to be submitted to the President of Congress, Sonia Gandhi. Earlier, the number of MLAs who were supporting the demand for replacing the 10 ministers was 26, but now it has reportedly risen to 27. Except for Chief Minister, Deputy Chief Minister, Speaker, MLA Irabat, MLA Landoni, and the 10 ministers, most of the remaining Congress MLAs are said to be supporting the demand for reshuffle. As some of the MLAs are out of station, they could not take part in today's meeting with the Chief Minister. With an objective of providing better utility to the people, a cardio section has been opened at a gym and fitness studio at Nagamopal under the motto "Healthy Communities and Healthy Society." Popular Manipuri film actors Hizambala and Roshan opened the cardio section to the public at a simple function held at the studio. Speaking on the occasion, Hizambala said, "It is very important to stay healthy and fit. This enables one to think positive." She hoped that the cardio section open today will enable the youth to get more interest in health. Advisor of the gym and fitness studio Romi Mitai said, "In today's busy lifestyle, it is also important to spend a few moments on physical exercise to live a healthy life. Be 
people's cooperation is needed in the efforts to trying to bring those people who had fallen into the habit of drug and other intoxicants to the mainstream, Romi Mete said. Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kangam has said that Narendra Modi led India government will end before the stipulated five years term due to lots of false promises to the people. He said these at a releasing function of a compiled book that shows the achievements of the Manipur Pradesh Mahila Congress Committee MPMCC from June 14 to December 31st of the previous year 2013. R.K. Rani Sana, President of Manipur Pradesh Mahila Congress Committee, MLA Manga Waifei and many office bearers of the committee took part in the function. Speaking at the function, R.K. Rani Sana said, Mahila Block Congress Committee has been formed for every block of the 53 assembly constituencies in the state. See further said, various awareness come training programs on crime against women and children. Women Empowerment and National Food Security Act were organized in different parts of the state. <laughs> My shoka doribani, the shoka doribani, I don't know the quake of what I tuck her nina. I must know one number of pain the bar, none in the lady has no panga and the other bar. Discipline and then the bar, I don't want to dress partini. I don't know. I went to the work I want none in Bakaya, later go to Nan the Batamba. No people ever see me. I'm the name the Nigani had not paying a city Sabasi that comes again. In his speech, to guess of the function, Guy Kanam criticized the Modi led India government. He said, the prices of all the essential commodities have skyrocketed even as the Modi government is just one month old. He further said, the prices of petrol, rice and train fare have increased. Moreover, the India government has forced use of Hindi as a compulsory language which has created ripples of dissent all over the country. He also said the issue of incursion of Arunachal Pradesh and Jammu and Kashmir in the map of China is not over. Coming to the state politics, Deputy Chief Minister Guy Kangam said it is not the time to throw in much against one another in the Congress party. He said it is time to find out what are the reasons behind the Congress defeat in the recent Lok Sabha election and strengthen the party at the center. At this critical juncture, publishing a book on the achievements of the Manipur Pradesh Mahila Congress Committee will teach a big lesson to the party members in future. He also appealed to the members to work hard together with sincerity, courage and integrity. <laughs> A press release issued by the Southeast Asia Cultural Organization, SIKO, has drawn the attention of the people of Manipur in saving the forest of Mongbahanba, a sacred place of Mitai community. The organization also appealed to the people to protect and preserve the culture and identity of the community. The universal law has allowed protection and preservation of the culture and identity of any community in the world, the press release aided. Now to national and international news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today congratulated scientists for the successful loans of the PSLV C-23 rocket carrying five foreign satellites at the Satis Dhawan Space Center in Srihari Kota and said India's Mars mission is cheaper than the hit Hollywood movie Graffiti. Modi witnessed the PSLV loans at Srihari Kota. The indigenous PSLV C-23 rocket carrying five satellites including Friends Earth Observation Satellite Spot 7 will place all five satellites on intended orbit around Earth. Proposing satellite diplomacy with a view to playing a key role in the development of the region, Prime Minister Narendra Modi asked Indian Space Agency ISPRO to develop a SARC satellite which can be dedicated as a gift to the neighbors. 
President Pranab Mukherjee today congratulated Space Agency ISRO for the successful launch of rocket PSLV C23, saying it is a significant milestone in the progress of the country's space capabilities. India launched five foreign satellites from four countries on board PSLV C23 rocket, which placed them in orbit. M. K. Narayanan has resigned as the governor of West Bengal after being questioned by the CBI in connection with an alleged window centered on the sale of 12 helicopters to India by Augusta Westland, an Anglo-Italian defense manufacturer. Mr. Narayanan 80 was interrogated for two hours as a witness on Friday at his official residence in Kolkata. He was in a pool of about 12 governors appointed by the previous government whose exit from office is being sought by the new Modi administration. Three have resigned already. Mr. Narayan is the fourth. M.K. Narayan was the national security advisor at time of the chopper deal. He had presided over a meeting which met changes to technical specifications for VVIP choppers. This changes enable Augusta to enter the eligibility criteria so deal could be worked out. The CVA wants to get more details on the reasons behind making those changes. French Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius has landed in the capital to, among other issues, close a stall deal to sell India 126 Rafale fighter jets built by Dassault Aviation for an estimated dollar 15 to 17 billion or rupees 1 lakh crores. The French minister will meet Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Arun Jaitley, who holds the twin portfolios of defense and finance. India and China today signed a key agreement to set up Chinese industrial parks in India as the Commerce Ministers today held the first meeting here after the new NDA government came to power. India and China signed a key treaty to set up Chinese industrial parks in India as the Commerce Ministers held the first meeting here after the new NDA government came to power. On our visit, to China, Commerce Minister Nirmala Sitaraman held talks with her Chinese counterpart Gao Huqing here during which she flagged con India's concerns over the trade deficit which averaged over USD 35 billion a year and sought greater access to Indian goods and services. Jihadis fighting in Syria in Iraq announced Sunday the establishment of a caliphate referring to the system of rule that ended nearly 100 years ago with the fall of Ottomans. In an audio recording distributed online, the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant ISIL declared its chief Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, the caliph and leader for Muslims everywhere. Well, that's all we have for now. But before we wind up, let's have a quick look at the top stories once again. 21 MLAs meet Chief Minister to insist on reshuffle of ministers. Chief Minister assures of uprising high command of MLAs demand. And Chief Minister OEWB calls on people to eschew selfish thoughts for peaceful coexistence. Thanks for watching our news and for more updates, please stay tuned.